However, again, I'm fighting the good fight of fate for time to put out the videos I have burning in my computer and the new ones I'm planning to do. So, real quick, because time is really up on us and these are just very exciting days and very important days. I put out a video this morning concerning the coming three days of darkness and the surrendering event. And I have received a response that I want to share with you from a faithful listener. Her name is Gunnar Gunnar. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for listening and making these comments. I'm just going to read what she said, although you could read it online, but I want to make sure that you all hear it, because it's so important. Watch the skies, a cosmic event. My child events are very close. The cosmic events will cause the sky to glow and turn red, and everyone on the face of the earth will see this phenomenon. This is your warning to get others to stay indoors and be prepared for the coming earthquake and darkness. My father holds the timing for this. Once this starts, it will issue a chain reaction all over the world. Your peace and calm will be a rare commodity as you will know your redemption is near. There will be a lot of fear upon the earth, for what will be unleashed upon the face of the earth will be horrific. You have been trained to expect this, and you will be trained in your kingdom assignment in another dimension. When you see the door, walk through it. Until then, prepare your heart and as many others as possible. Some will listen, but many will not. But they will remember when you said, and search for you, and search your records where possible. Do not fret. I will be with you, for I come in the storm. I love you, my child. Rejoice, for you are mine. This is the end of prophetic message, and then she says, I received this word early in the morning of February 2nd. The last night, we were walking out to my car after work. I saw one of the reddest sunsets on the horizon that I have ever seen. Right above the red horizon was a layer of dark clouds that looked ominous. I immediately thought of this word I had received, and this seemed like a confirmation to me. Then on February 3rd, while driving to work this morning, I heard these words. Event will lock off when you see the red skies. Watch the skies. This seems like a second confirmation. So I felt I should get this out as soon as possible. Now listen, there is a link. I am going to click on it, see what it is. And that is leading us to a sundalarmweekly.com. So please go there, go into my playlist to the message, message 37, and I will need the first comment. I'm going to pin this to the top. Maybe not, I don't know how to. It's not, not giving me that option. But it's from Gunnar Gunnar, and so you can go to that link if you want to. Then she continues with another message from the Lord. Seek solace in me, my children. The events that have been foretold are night upon you near. Seek solace in me, your Lord and Savior, and I will give you my peace within your heart. There is an earthquake coming, my daughter, that will precede the three days of darkness. Precede! Precede the three days of darkness. The earthquake will happen, and then the three days of darkness will descend. First, there will be a cataclysmic cosmic event. All mankind will see this event, wherever they are on the face of the earth. This is your sign that I am coming. You must go to your homes and gather your families to you. Pray to me to keep you and to provide for you during the coming darkness. The darkness will descend within three days of this cosmic event appearing. The darkness will commence with the earthquake. That is why it is important for you to be inside and remain in your homes. Like the children of Israel who were predicted when the angel of death 
passed over and saw the blood on the doorpost, so all my children will be protected by the blood of a lamb on your forehead. You are sealed by my blood, and my bride will be protected, no matter what is happening outside of your dwelling. You are to close your doors and windows, draw your curtains, and pray together. During this time, I will reveal myself to each and every one of you. Those who are already mine will be infused with the Holy Spirit and will be transformed as the transfiguration. Those who are not yet mine will be given the opportunity to receive me as their Lord and Savior. My bride will be transformed, and after the three days of darkness, I will send her out to bring in the lost harvest. She will minister in my strength and power, and will be totally protected no matter where she goes. This will be for a period of time until the last harvest is brought home. My bride will then ascend with me to her rightful place in her heavenly home. Come, my children, all is prepared and waiting for my coming bride. I, your Jesus, your bridegroom, long for your company with me in heaven. Don't fear, don't die. I am not delayed, I'm coming soon. And her third comment is, Amos 8.8, 8, Will not the land tremble for this great shaking earthquake, and all who live in it mourn? The whole land will rise like a Nile. It will be stirred up and then sink like a river of Egypt. Verse 9. In that day, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn your religious festivals into mourning and all your singing into weeping. Now this sounds like Christmas to me, and that's the three days of darkness when the sun goes down at daylight, and looks like Christmas will be interrupted. I told the group who had a Bible study, I said, I pray that you would listen to me, that this will be your last Christmas. You better celebrate the best you can, because they had an out of back Bible study, how to celebrate Christmas. I told them the Lord is coming for the bride, and after that, the great tribulation begins. Nobody believed me. They all looked at me like, what's wrong with you? I will turn your religious festivals into mourning and all your singing into weeping. I will make all of you wear sackcloth and shave your head. I will make the time like mourning for an only son and the end of it like a bitter day. End of reading. Thank you again for this message. Very important and very informative. Now we learn that the earthquake comes prior to the three days of darkness and that we are going to see with our eyes and everyone will see a kind of cosmic event. This is giving us a lot of clarity and peace knowing that it will come the way that we can prepare and warn our loved ones. So please share this message. Don't wait until the cataclysmic event because time then is going to be very short. Start today, send out emails, uh, attach this video, whatever you do, and the message 37 and message 38, I would do that. Please let people know and they will through that understand that they still can be saved, they still can be received by the Lord before it's too late. Oh my God, I cannot imagine a more important message than this. Please do that. And if I may, I would suggest that you want to go on on my blog. I had that two years ago. Sonsofgodblog.wordpress.com And go to the last tab on the top is Prophecies. There are Choices. And the first one is Jesus' Warnings. Choose that. And there are these 10 messages, warning messages from Jesus. All of them are concerning the coming visitation on the earth during the three days of darkness. It's awesome. You can read it there. They are not very long, but really wonderful. And yes, you can also read on the blog at the Urgent Messages, 
drop down to the three days of darkness you can read that the catholic prophecies which were given to humanity more than 100 years ago and there are more messages on that page so you may want to study that a little bit but the main concerns were pointed out in message number 37 i have posted this morning so with this i depart now i have more videos to put out and i'm pressing on love you all god bless you and i do hope that this is blessing you and if you go online to message 37 and read gonar gonar's messages that is the transcript you may also want to click on her name because she has a channel apparently very anointed a child of god and we need to hear what the lord is saying through her god bless you i love you